Hey folks, this is something new I wanted to try. Um, I'm gonna call it uh, Tailgate by Tech Talk. Um, so this is my first time doing it. Uh, first start off with is something obviously I'm very familiar with if you've been watching the channel. And that's McCulloch's. And specifically, the 82cc McCulloch's. Uh, anywhere from Super 80s, 81s, uh, 850s, uh, 800s, 805s, double eagle 80s, 8200s. So that's what we got right here. This is my probably my most workhorse that I use the most of all of them is my Pro Mac 800. Um, no particular reason, it just runs good. It's got great compression. Uh, run it 32 to 1 typically. Um, use clot soil. Yeah, you can run them thinner. I don't typically leave them fat run them thick just because from what I've seen what I've been told I mean my experience plus experiences of others other than the double eagle 80 um, which was truly manufactured under McCulloch um, McCulloch sold out to Black and Decker 1973 1974 right in there so the Supra 80 was manufactured under uh, under McCulloch, and they had better paid for better chroming practices and better chrome. Well, after '74, when Black and Decker went to them, you start seeing a whole host of cylinders flaking the chrome. That's because they just cheaped out on the chroming process, cheaped out on chrome. So. Typically with these, anything other than a Super Audi, even those, I just run them at 32 to 1, um, clots oil. Um, just run them fat, run them thick, and you're less likely to flake your chrome. I mean, it still does happen if it's very thin, it's been run a lot, but you're less likely to. Um, another thing that's common on these, obviously air leaks, got a boot between the car box and the body, or engine. Um, uh, do find leaks in the carb. These, uh, especially these 800s, typically had Zama carbs. I found uh, some reason the high circuit will get gummed up, whether you run them all the time or run them hardly at all, and they will go uh, lean on the high side. Even if you set them fat, they will start to lean out. And I've uh, rebuilt the one on this one like four times. Uh, you can clean it out, it's just gonna keep happening. I don't like dealing with it. So I found one out of my junk parts. Uh, this is now running a Wabro STC that came off like a 850 um, Super 081, somewhere in there. That's what it's running. And it has not leaned out yet on the high side. And yes, I know some may ask, well, what if you have an air leak? That would cause it. Well, I have pressure tested this thing multiple times it's rock solid passed the uh pressure test or pressure test literally 10 out of 10 times um trying to think what else really uh fuel lines i have been using the uh little uh through hose through barbs fittings and uh tigon um I found on these 82cc Max, they're very tight against the carb, so I've actually gone away from doing those just because it's hard to get the carb on and off, and same to change up fuel line, so you can get your grommet. That's what this one's got, it's got a grommet, and 5 sixteenths, uh, I use True Blue 5 sixteenths fuel line, it's good for ethanol, I try to run non-ethanol, but sometimes it happens. Um, this is this true blue holds up pretty good from what I've seen and uh, yeah, you, uh, you probably won't be able to tell but yes that's a STC and if you look these up these come with a Zama and like I said I just don't have very good luck with them and about dropped it and not uh, going lean on the hydro and that could be part of the reason why these flake a lot is because the Zama car so just be careful attention to it 
Um, if any of you are wondering, this is a obviously Sumera um, lightweight 28. These, uh, this one's an Echo Bar uh, 590 mount, which is the same uh, bar stud size as these uh, 10 series Max. Um, only thing you'll have to do is cut a channel for the uh, bar oil. Um, I'd link mine from the actual uh, where the original uh, oil and slot is on the bar. I just cut a channel down to the uh, adjuster hole and it beats fine. I mean, you see it, it beats fine. Um, and then I had to raise the opposite adjuster hole up to uh, to fit uh, for the adjuster to fit into it or what you could also do is pull your adjuster off your chain brake flip your little adjuster pin upside down and put it back together and it would work perfect you wouldn't have to do that but I run McCulloch bars on this I run the Samura, I run Husky, so I just kind of made it where all of them work. Um, trying to think what else. Uh, that's about it for this guy. It's uh, I do find the 850s and uh, Super 81s are stronger than the uh, 800s, the 80s, even the Double Eagle 80, 8200. The 850 and 81 is stronger. Um, I have found if you put a 850 or 81 muffler on a 800 or the 805s, 850 supers, or double eagle 80s, 8200s, whatever, they will run about even with a uh, 850, a stock 850. So really, these are hindered by this big quiet tone muffler. Um, trying to think anything else. That would be good to know. I think that's about it. Um, I said I've run this thing for hours upon hours. Um, run 32 to 1 clots, running a little bit fat on the high end. I'm not winding it all the way out. And no flaking as so far. It's got gobs of compression. hasn't dropped any so that's about it for this little tech talk there's your McCulloch uh, 82 cc or at least pertaining to I guess the 800 specifically but you can take some of them as generalizations for across the line um, I'll do uh, specific models I've got the 850 I got a uh, Super 80 I got Super 81 I can do individualized if y'all want to see it um, but that's a good generalization so typically I try to stay away from the Zama carbs on these just because I've had trouble with them like I said on the high side typically low side they'll hold tune fine but for some reason high side either it gets gummed up or whatnot I've changed like I said pressure tested it changed fuel filters you name it um, and yeah so there you go so, hope you all enjoyed watching this if you like what you saw please hit that like button if you want to see more hit that subscribe button uh hope y'all have a uh, blessed day no jesus loves you and we will see y'all in the next one thanks y'all